Okay guys, I have been chopping onions. Yes, I have. I have been chopping onions because I am going to make me a lentil soup. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to make it real quick. I have a little bit of olive oil. Let me show you that. I have some olive oil in a pan that I'm heating up and then I have some celery ribs. I have some carrots and I have some onions here that I am chopped up that I'm going to saute and I'm going to saute it slowly so I can get all of those flavors out of there guys so the sweeter and the more flavors the longer you saute it you saute it on slow and then I'm going to add my uh, lentils I have brown lentils I'm going to add the brown lentils I'm gonna add some cumin, some chicken broth, or you can do some vegetable broth. I do a little garlic, since I didn't put garlic pieces in there, some salt, pepper, some paprika. And then you get that to marinate in there and you cook the lentils until they're tender. And then you want to squeeze a fresh lemon in there. And also you can zest a little lemon peel inside of the soup and that will give it great flavor so there you are you have your lentil soup recipe nice healthy and delicious mm, pinto beans guys soup beans and then we will have our lunch and we will have a nice little talk so i have some pinto beans in a crock pot that i've had there all night with a lot of nice seasoning you can add whatever seasoning that you want and some chicken broth and then i will probably add some homemade chow chow to that and some bell peppers and things like that and then have myself a nice little soup beans you can add a uh, ham hock or anything else you know throw it in there to season or some bacon fat whatever you want to put in there otherwise you can just leave it in there you leave it in there like a bit for a vegetarian recipe because that chicken broth does the job all by itself all right now that i'm done crying <laughs> over onions mm, not over spilled milk but i'm crying over onions <laughs> While that is simmering, getting a nice taste, let's just talk about some of the joys of being home, especially on a rainy autumn day. And lately here, we've been having a lot of rain due to those hurricanes down off the Gulf. And I have just been sitting home uh, during this weekend and I've just, you know, been looking around, thinking about how I like to be at home. When I'm not traveling or anything, I just like to putter around the house. I don't know if you guys are like me, some of you homemakers, I know you enjoy being home like I do. You know, after you get the kids to nap on a Saturday afternoon, this is your time. You know, maybe you go on a play date with the kids, I don't know. But usually when you're in the home, you just kind of look around and you just see, you see all that you have created. You see that space that you made for yourself over the years and you just get to say, hmm, I actually like that. And if you don't like that or something has changed over the years, you start looking up at different things. You look up in corners, like I am short. You start looking up in corners and you say, wait a minute, there's a cobweb over there, you know, and this needs to be painted and this light bulb needs to be changed. And although these things seem mundane and that they can be tedious, you know, especially during the week if you're working or something. But on the weekends and on those rainy days, you just, you say, hey, it's time for me to clean that cobweb. It's time for me to change the batteries, especially in the smoke detector. I know some of you guys, you have uh, certain times of the year, maybe the first of the year when you change it, maybe when you set the clocks forward or back I tend to forget and so on those Saturdays I start thinking about okay do I need to change the batteries do I need to change the light bulbs maybe this bathroom needs a nice touch of paint maybe those 
bathroom, on the floor, those baseboards. Maybe they could be scrubbed a little bit more. I know, not some of the most favorite things that you guys think about for a Saturday afternoon or a rainy afternoon. But it is, it's something that's important. It's our homes. And sometimes we just have to go ahead and tackle it and tend to those things. But I sit here and I think about going over to Lowe's and looking at different paint swaps, even if I'm not ready to quite paint yet. I think about old books that need to be dusted off and read, novels that I wanna read that I've never gotten to, think about browsing the old bookstores, things like that, the bookstores that are still around. Uh, do you guys have any bookstores in your city that is actually still around? Just makes me cry. I'm just like, don't close the bookstores. I've been hollering that for years. And no matter how much I say that, you know, bookstores are going out of business. The big bookstores, maybe we may have some mom and pop bookstores, but I like to browse through them because it smells like old books, you know, those old school books, those old books that we used to toss in the attic. I have a cousin who actually, in her nook that she has for herself that she's made, she's made a little corner nook in her house to read. And she actually brought a candle called Old Books. So her candle smells like old books. I'm gonna have to find out where she got that from. I really do. But it is time on these rainy days, on these autumn days, as we come in and we're reflecting inward, that we can just start browsing around and looking through our houses and see what needs to be done. You know, I know we think about spring cleaning, but there's a time for a little fall dusting and fall cleaning as well. Time for getting out your paintbrush, painting, doing all those hobbies and projects that you said you wanted to do. Summer is gone. The fast pace of life is coming to a halt. We're slowing down. We can dust off those sewing machines. We can make those apple cobblers because it's apple season. We may even want to write our own novels. I don't know. But I just like to reminisce about the joy of being home. Just cleaning a junk drawer. I know it sounds like I get so excited about doing those chores. I'm going to tell you, I really do not get excited about cleaning anything these days. Now that my children are adults, I really do not do all of that like I used to. I skip a lot of that stuff. A lot of times I let my clothes, I'm just going to be honest with you, just lay on a chair. I do not clean those closets. I do not declutter like I used to. But as I said, I sit and think when I have those slow times, those slow moments, and those afternoons of Saturday pleasures, you know, I just take it all in. I take it all in. So I do not want to keep you guys. I just want to reminisce a little bit. Just reminisce about home. It's one of my favorite places to be. I hope you like my carrot top, guys. I like to be a little colorful. I like my fashion. And you guys know I am a creative. And so any way that I can be creative, if it's in my home, it's in my fashion, if it's in my cooking, if it's in my videos, if it's in my speech, if it's in my poetry, whatever it is, I like to be creative. I have to remember to keep this far enough back because I have this turned 
vertical and not horizontal for these for this YouTube channel. But I do. I like to be creative. And I like to hear from you on what you guys like to do during your seasonal living. As those seasons change. There's a picture that I painted. And there's another picture that I painted. And I'm going to call myself Misha Picasso. And I decided to not think of myself as an amateur or my painting or my coloring as kindergarten. I decided that I will reward myself and admire and respect what I have done and actually put it in my living room. And I am so proud of myself, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I know the lighting is not good. The sun is kind of out, but not out. And then also it's dreary and there's no light on here. But you can see it somewhat. So yeah, I am Carrot Top, guys. It's time to get me a new Carrot Top. I've had this for a while and it was just kind of tossed and thrown into my closet. And it has just kind of mashed up. So I need something new. <laughs> so I can do better. I love you guys. I do. I hope you enjoy the lentil soup recipe. I hope you enjoy the pinto bean recipe. If you are a vegetarian or you're a meat eater, if you're adding meat into it or not. But those are the things that I do on a Saturday or a rainy autumn afternoon. And I just want to share that with you guys. Share with me anything you want to share in the comments become a subscriber so we can have these little talks more often goodbye